next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. This one, this is a kickboxer of the many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. Three years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. We send it inside Ladies the octagon. And Here's Bruce Buff. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands. Five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab keep his distance and only engage on his terms. These guys throwing early. He missed with that jab attempt there. Use that low kick. Punch over the top. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Slips the punch. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice kick. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Stay busy. You control this. 
big leg kick land. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a back lead with? We'll see very shortly. Oh, good kicks. Checks the leg kick. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, body kick and depth here, it's no good. Beautiful leg kick throw. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Visibly limping here. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Nice leg kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Big kick lands. Just out of range with that right hook. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Four sounds for the end of round one. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will meet Motrin tomorrow. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice straight punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Real quick leg kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here. Just out of range. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Three minutes now to go in round two. Body kick is blocked. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice one-two there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Just missing on the counter there. Well timed knee to the body, and he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Head kick land. Attempts the front kick there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. 30 seconds to go in the round. And a 
Nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I mean, will. those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well-placed kick there by Lee. So there it is, DC, the fighter with the longer reach, able to counter flush with a straight punch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Watch knees to the body. Oh, and he lands yet another jab. Hey, he pays to be the longer fighter. A nice punch there by Lee. Oh, it looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Just missed with the straight left hand. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. There's no tell on that leg kick. Checks that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Oh, just misses with the kick. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ten seconds. Nice punch there. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Ooh, big shot land. Way to hide that leg kick. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. 
Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Big punch lands through the middle. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. And he continues to work the body here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. And we got a fight on our hands. sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. All right, 45 seconds now to go with the round. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Out of range with that kick attempt. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep last round. He's bringing the slugfest. That's the type of fight he wants. Let him think this way. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Moving the adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Good stick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Big kick land. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Hands higher, hands higher. Right hand upstairs. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at him. There is no time for strategy anymore. Come on, keep moving, keep moving your feet. Keep moving. You have to do more of that if you want to keep it up. Beautiful strike. Let's focus, let's focus now. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage 
off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Circling to his right. Oh, big punch land. Try to establish that jab. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Lee. You can't take many of those. You better check. Final seconds of the fight. Nice knee to the body by Lee. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done on the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 48 47, and 49 46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Assassin! All right, nice job behind there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly